What you doing? Huh? Hmm. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. Put up your window, this guy. Oh. <laughs> guy over here at the Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for Juicy Content. I can see your pin number, Thank you bro. to everybody who sorts on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. I just stole his ID. And today we're doing a movie review. And it's a late movie review. One of, yep. the, one of the later movie reviews we've ever done, it's, most likely. Yeah. We don't normally go no. to the late showing. No, we don't. I'm a sleepy boy. Yeah, we don't. We're we're not like you guys who stay up till <laughs> five in the morning, right, Andrani? <laughs> Le- <laughs> if I had my button, yeah, lady comes from the black void. Yeah, that's uh, where all my ladies come from. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a movie review of the new, just came out, LJP, Dosed film. Uh, Move. Say it. It is called, um, they said it enough times, I was trying to get it down. Yeah, it's no way. Ma- Malakotai Valiban. Malakotai Valiban. What she said. She's, she's a bongo. What does she know? Yeah. Honestly, two what white, are you, what are you doing trying two to, two white to... guys probably know more than she does. Yeah, yeah. Settle down back there. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, LGP's new film with the uh, megastar uh, Mohan Lal. Um, and it. Uh, I do want to thank the... Um, the uh, distrib- I think they're a distribution. Pr- United- production company. Production company, Distri- American distributor. Distribution Company. I don't know for sure. Um, but they actually reached out because stupid babies. Actually, they uh, they said they got a ton of messages and they were like, "Hey, DM us." <laughs> the stupid army and, was in full force. Uh, originally, they uh, had showings down where we saw the last one, and then they put it. And one that's not—I I wouldn't say where we went is close, Mm-mm. but it's, it's like closer. It's, it's like a twenty-five minute drive from my house, but it's an easy drive. Yes, it's an easy drive. It's, from my if, house. it's always going to be a twenty-five minute drive. You're yeah. never going to get any surprises. No, uh, and so they—they uh, they added a showtime for us, and not just us. We, there were other people in the, in the theater that, yeah. uh, that that were with us. But it was actually a good sized house. Really. Yeah, but I do want to say thank you to them. Yeah, um, very, very it's much. It's not paid anything. That was just a very. They were very kind, and they reached out specifically uh, to do this. And so I do want to thank them. Uh, they because that we don't always get that, and sometimes right. we either don't get them or we have to go far, far away. So yeah. thank you so much. But anyways, uh, this film obviously uh, it's star, uh, LGP starring Mohan Lal. It just came out, so we're going to start with non. Spoilers. Non-spoils. Um, so to not spoil your little behinds here. Um, but uh, it's in theaters now. I, how the distribution is in India, I don't know. Obviously in Kerala, I'm sure it's wide uh, and all that. And I think it's pretty wide in North America. Um, so, Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts of this film. It's so hard to do this with non-spoilers. It is. It's very, very difficult. So, um, and it's it's just... So to see it or to skip it, um, I, it's going to depend on who you are. Yeah. Um, if you are f- from, I think if you know a lot of what is being represented in this, which I, I, I can't say that because then it's spoilers. Yeah. You're because there's so much in this that is completely foreign to us, to me, symbolically, whatever it may be. So, the cinematography is going to be what you expect, it's going to be off the charts, incredible cinematography, just like you saw in the trailer and more. There's a blending of genres I don't want to say. You kind of get the gist of it from the trailer, but I don't want to talk about the blending of genres because that's a spoiler. For me, I this has nothing I think to do with the film. It has to do with my, and I'll be interested to see what you have to say. My ignorance to who's being talked about, what the yeah. masks represent in certain places, what certain things represent. There's so yeah, much yeah. representative and sim- symbolic that is beyond. It's kind of like trying to introduce. It would be kind of like trying to introduce. Shakespeare to someone who's just starting to learn English. Yeah. They would be like, I I don't know. I guess I 
I don't know. That's how I felt a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a complex for you. Very complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, for, for me... What about from a filmmaking from, standpoint? F- well, that's what I mean. From the technical Art. side of it, I can appreciate the technical side of it. But because I didn't get a lot of the symbolism, yeah. it, it got... I got lost and I didn't know if the reason I was lost was because I'm not picking up on what's being represented or is the scope of what's being represented getting away from LJP, which I can't imagine that's the case. So I put the blame on the fact that so much of what he's conveying is completely new and I've never heard of it. I don't know what's being represented. There are some aspects of it that are very Western, but I don't want to talk about that because that's kind of a spoiler. Yeah. I like that part of it, but as a whole, as a film for a lot of it, I just kind of sat there and thought, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I really, for the most of the part, I did most of the, most of the film. I did not. I did not kind of comprehend yeah, what was sure. going on. Um, this film is very. Um, it's a lot of things. This film is a lot of things. Uh, one would be Shakespearean a little bit, like a play a little bit. Yeah, it's a lot like a play. Um, it's in some spots <laughs> a little bit of Tarantino. Sometimes a lot of bit of Tarantino, a um, s- lot of symbolism, obviously from stuff that obviously the same. Um, I didn't always get the uh, the references going on because a, a lot of his films in the past that we've seen um, are very Christian symbolic behind it, and so mm-hmm. we get a lot of those references. Yeah, and there were Christian symbolisms in this as well. But I do feel, uh, and then I don't, I don't think it's a spoiler, but. A lot of Hindu symbolisms in this, um, so obviously we are not as verse in that aspect. Um, and I think I, regional, regional symbolism. maybe as well. Yeah, um, I do think this is by far, at least from the ones that we've seen, his most stylistic film. His and his biggest in scope, which we um, felt from the trailer. Yeah, I think a lot of that is stylistic, though. Uh, the bigness. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, you know, Tarantino is very stylistic, but a lot of LGP's films are small Mm -hmm. and nuanced, Mm -hmm. right? This, from the ones we see, I know there's many that we haven't seen yet of LGP, so maybe he has stuff that, (laughs) that, that we don't know of yet that Um, that is very stylistic. What I'm laughing about is for me, this is his tenet. (laughs) I don't, in terms of I just didn't understand what was going on a lot of the time. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I, did, I wasn't as confused about Tenet as you were, though. That's, uh, that's true. Yeah, I still don't um, know what Nolan was saying with Tenet. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, the, the scope of it and what he was trying to say, and I'll get into some of that in spoiler. I don't think I, I'm not going to try to guess what he was saying with the full thing. No, this but, would be an easy film to say you know what he's saying, but you really don't know what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd be ever interested with you guys who are Malayalis and, and well-versed in yeah. uh, Indian culture, Malayalam culture, all, all this stuff, if he has references to other films of his in this um, film itself. But man, uh, I, I would see this film just for the um, cinematography of it. Uh, good Lord, uh, is it beautiful? <laughs> Yeah, and that's what you would expect. You would expect that from him and, and his And a lot of it is very symbolic mm-hmm. symbolism as well. Um, and stuff that, once again, I didn't pick up on all of it. Uh, but I'm like, that means something. Right. It's clearly, clearly means something. Clearly. Uh, but I wish I knew what it meant. Um, and But a lot of it's extremely pretty. Sanjay Lee Bansali level at, at times in terms of what he was doing with, with certain shots. Um, it, it, this could have absolutely been a play. Uh, in the way it's thought, it's it's very slow moving in parts. Um, and like in the way it goes, it goes by chapter kind of kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and but and again, pacing is hard to critique for me when I'm not tracking with the film because then I don't know if what I'm sensing with it. For example, if I feel like a film is dragging because I, I don't know if that's because of the flow of the direction and the editing or if it's because I'm just not. Grasping. Track grasping, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but of the stuff that I did, I I did enjoy a lot of it. Um, like I said, I I'm okay with directors doing what they want to do, and me not getting it fully. If I can just watch their vision on screen and be like, I don't fully know. 
you uh, what 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 just happened? Right. Uh, I think I, I I have kind of some. You ideas, know what this remind? But I, you haven't seen this film, but this is going to be for those of you who have seen what I'm about to reference. You haven't seen the boy and the heron. No, not yet. We will. I felt the exact same way watching this as I did the boy and the heron. <laughs> I think that might be because you're your first. Uh, yeah, but I first felt the same way of Miyazaki film. This. I can tell that this is probably great, but I don't know why. And there's a ton of stuff in this that I, I just, I'm watching thinking, what the heck is going on? What does that mean? But I left with this sense of, I can tell this was somebody who knows what they're doing. I just wish I knew what they were doing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, I thought Mohanlal uh, did a, a, a very good job. His presence on screen was really cool. Um, and not like like a Rajnikanth cool. Uh, that's not no, that's not what the film very is different. Really, it's going not going for that at all. Um, yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> this is an LGP film through and through. The star of every LGP film I've ever seen is LGP, uh, and that's no different. Uh, in this, yeah. even though obviously this one has, I'd say, more of a star than a typical. Lilo uh, yeah. film um, but he's still I think the star of the film uh, I think um, if we do or Mali Ali or something we'd be able to just dissect it better right. uh, than two uh, American white guys yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's happened before, I think, and it happened a little bit with his last one, even uh, because there it were did a there bit. were element, not as much, no, but, but there it, were elements of it that were very Tamil, very Malayalam references and and certain things. Sure, in sure it there was a ton we missed, but that last one had a broader appeal in terms of it having a universal understanding mm. throughout, more more so than than this one. I think a lot of people internationally would be able to appreciate the technical aspects of it and the beauty of the cinematography. Mm, yeah. But as far as story is concerned, I think there's it's 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 I'd be surprised to find out how many people who haven't been exposed at all to India, especially this region of India, would be able to track with the story. Mm. I, I would be I'd be really, really shocking to me. You were that lost. Yeah, I was really, really lost. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, um, when it gets, well, again, yeah, spoilers. You can't, you can't talk spoilers. about that we'll, t we'll talk about I can tell you when I didn't get lost. We'll talk at, uh, talk about that in, 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 in the spoilers. But overall, in terms of like what I see, I would definitely go see it, especially if you're if for Mali Ali. And if you like Lilo, uh, LGP, I, I can't say his full name. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, because you might be even smarter than we are in, in, in the realm of understanding of the film. But I think if you want his style, it's very different than his normal style, actually. It's very different. Um, but also still has a lot of elements of what makes a LGP film an LGP film, which is thinking. Uh, I think that has to do with most of his films is like, what is what are the undercurrents of this? And this one has a lot of those um, and also even more than any other one I've seen because there's so much going on. Um, uh, Mohanlal is not going to give you anything to gripe about uh, in this film. Um, the <laughs> There's actually a ton of, uh, quite a bit of songs in, in, in the film mm -hmm. uh, compared to what are normally in a yeah. uh, LGP film. True. Um, the cinematography, you could go in literally just for that. You, and I thought the sound design was very unique, very loud. Yeah, and I think it, we don't on, know. You on, don't know if that's the. Um, I think it's on purpose. Yeah, it might be on purpose in spots, or it could be the theater. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, uh, that specifically, but very unique uh, in in how he decided to do it. Um, but overall, uh, I enjoyed it. I think I, I, you might enjoy it even more, though, um, if you if you're a Malayali or even just an Indian. Uh, that knows the references better than I. Don't know. Yeah. You can let us know if you've seen it. Um, but now we're going to get to some spoils. Um, don't expect too much intelligent conversation. No. <laughs> because, once again, very stupid. And Leela LGP is much smarter than we are. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, please go watch it and then come back um, before you get spoiled, okay? Uh, so, Rick, what were you going to say earlier? Just, so, just I appreciate go. the genre mixing because yes. this is a Western. That I got. This is definitely a western um, in the in the the whole scope of it, and he gives a lot of shout outs to the to the western 
and he Mahanlal is the Clint Eastwood character who kicks everybody's ass and he's the loner and then he befriends somebody it's very outlaw Josie Wales and then the person that he was caring for gets killed so I got that at the end when they started to actually put exposition in the text yeah. and say here's what's going on but I still didn't get I didn't get the big jumping foot in the ground and he's on the other opposite side of the hill and he's going to face himself in his final battle, which is against himself, I guess, or another avatar of who he is. I, that, that I didn't get. So I appreciated the blend of both what felt like a Sanjay Leela Bansali Indian film mm -hmm. and a Clint Eastwood Western. Um, and, but, but I've, so much of the first 70% of the film was him just kicking ass and taking names. And it was so comical sometimes with the wire work that I thought... That was a stylistic choice. Yeah, I thought, we're go are we farcical now? We're are we going in and out of farce? Because I thought at some points you're being really grounded and you're being really honest in what you're conveying here in a way that you want us to feel a sense of reality and now it's becoming hidden tiger crouching dragon or is it reverse crouching tiger I forget um with the wire work um so yeah that's that's oh, I I think it was absolutely supposed to be comical uh blend absolutely uh, similar to how um and also different to how Quentin does in Django uh in in a lot of that um the the fight scenes specifically were clearly um, done stylistically in that way. Um, and I, I almost want to say they wanted to do it almost like it was a play, how it would be done in a play, mm. how it would look in a play. Um, and I, the, the humor was absolutely there uh, and supposed to be there um, on, on those parts. Uh, so that I 100% agree. The uh, One of my favorite parts, though, was... Um, God, they, they, he blended so many genres, right? Um, like that one song that came on where the, uh, the white people started to dance. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, my word. Yeah. This is, this is so outlandish. And that's so why I was weird. like, that's why the entire thing, it was supposed to have the kind I have no doubt that, yes, it was serious at times, but it was also farcical. It was right. also, that, 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 it was obvious to me. Well, some of the times uh, it was really obvious, like uh, the one you're, you're I, no, I, I right think there. I, there was a lot of those really obvious moments. Um, but the, <laughs> I, and I, I want, I, maybe I'm just reading into it, but I think that whole sequence where, um, the, the kind of the big battle sequence of the film with the army there, with the army and, and, and her the, on the big gun, and, and on the, 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 the rotating cannons. I liked that better yeah. than the big gun and animal. Yeah, I did. I, I thought that was almost <laughs> a answer to not, yeah. not really answer. Like he's trying to do it, but no. almost he's poking fun yeah. at. India's obsession right now uh, at, yes, the at the big films. mass big mass film and with everybody the big mass having guns. big mass guns yes. and and uh, uh, yes, killing in I that like way. That. I thought that whole sequence specifically, it felt to me like it was almost a pointing up a mirror. Like you see how ridiculous we're looking right now. Yeah, <laughs> guys, let's call. We don't need a circular cannon yeah, gun. Yeah, and he he kind of he does kind of throw in. I'm not gonna say it's masala but he throws in all of the kind of things that you see in different yeah. indian films so you get the big bollywood numbers yep you get the ridiculous white people oh yeah you get like you point even out, more so the, yeah. the, you know the big the big the, the ridiculous gun that the is got, just the, the evil guy that laughs all the time right the evil guy that laughs all the time <laughs> until I, just I, for no reason I, yeah, he's, I, he's 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 the bad guy yeah Clearly i think the bad guy i think you guys can tell me if you read that in as well i felt like it was a little not that that was the whole point of the film but one of the under uh, under current um themes of it was um almost a call out of the big like can we can we pull it down right some guys because this is what we're looking like right <laughs> we don't need an oscillating cannon gun, <laughs> right just Categorically hilarious. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, exactly. and, and the, the, the whole song where they're dancing all crazy. I'll shoot and, you everywhere. Yes. Everyone. Yes. 
uh, uh, the beginning started off with that same comedy, um, and and the end, um, and not really the end, with most of it in general. I don't, I can't tell you specifically what all the Hindu references were. If it's even that, it was part. A lot of them were like the end was that was Shiva, right? Yeah, I, that, that, I, that, the, I, the, oh, the dreads. I'm not sure. It was blue. The destroyer, right? Yeah, he returning. Looked like him, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a that different was, avatar that, of him. Right. I mean, there's thousands mm-hmm. of blue with dreadlocks. That's. I don't think he would fight Mohanlal, well, I well, I think Mohanlal. I don't know if he's going to be trying to be Hanuman, as well, uh, or maybe just a different. A- that's what I'm, I'm just reading stupidness into it. That's what that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, all those are just like from what I know of the, whatever that film was, the anime film that I saw, was right. What's it called? I didn't see it, but you did. The anime film from the 1990s. Ramayan? Yes, thank you. Uh, Ramavayan. That, that, yes, thank you. Uh, that's basically what I know of all those gods. Uh, and so I was like, yes, I think the masks were the, the demon guy that um, Saif was playing in the... the I don't know. Was, was the demon with the heads? Ravan. Oh, well, but... But All of them. Have any uh, mention or? or I know didn't mention them. Yeah, but yeah. Who did, did, do you know who those masks were? They were just they were depicting like demons. That's what I thought. I thought it was supposed like, to be like reflecting not specifically him, but a demon yeah. that they everybody in the crowd was like. De- de- anyways, <laughs> deceiving. That's what I would read into it. But once again, very stupid. Um, <laughs> so you guys could tell us if the if my assumptions in any of that is true, because um, I don't know. That was the, those are the parts that I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not familiar with any of it. I yeah, didn't and because grow up of, with that, any of that, because so much of it was symbolic, I I was looking for and couldn't find out why anybody for the first half of the film in particular i couldn't really figure out why anybody was doing what they were doing and i thought okay maybe that's the point is that the point of the and then i just I, I had so many questions and couldn't track what was going on for so much of it mm. that i just spent a lot of the film just lost mm. yeah. yeah i like uh i i like sometimes when when films just kind of take you on a ride regardless of if you're um, like relating to characters specifically, or I mean, and LGP has famously done it, and then the film he got sent to the Oscars. We, we talked about that. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's very much like when we came out of the Boy and the Heron, we were standing on the street about to cross it, and a lady who was in the theater with us, we didn't know it until she looked at us and she she saw that we were in the theater and she said, "What was that?" And we said, "We're still trying to figure it out." Do you know? She said, "No, I I can't figure out what what that was all about." So, yeah. I haven't seen it yet, so yeah. I can't tell you you're stupid yet. No. Uh, when I see it, I will. You will. Uh, well, Stephanie will. And then I'll, I'll say, say whatever what's smart weird, thing she says What's weird is I liked you. it. <laughs> I liked it. Anyways, uh, if you obviously, if you haven't seen the film yet, I you hope you're still not here. here. Um, but uh, if you have, please let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it. Why we're idiots? Uh, please explain, ooh, like the Everything confusion we, we have. Yeah. Obviously, give uh, us our aha moments. But uh, I do want to once again thank the uh, production or the distribution house. Yeah, I don't know much. specifically because uh, it's the first time it's happened to us, and so I do want to thank you guys. Uh, but uh, let us know what you thought about the film and anything else we need to know down below.